past, I'd say, near six years in Chippen, particularly on the pig side, are working a lot, focusing a lot on um, water quality and improving water quality, particularly trying to focus on how, how much of an impact water quality has on pig performance and pig health. Yes. And of course, that can be applicable to dairy farms, beef farms and so on as well. Um, so what we... We generally, and it's part, we're trying to make it as part of the biosecurity protocol. So when we're looking at a farm, we're saying, right, you're very strict on who you let into the farm. You're changing your disinfection, your foot dips. You are making sure your clean and disinfection protocol is up to standard. But do you know how much bacteria you're introducing into your pig yes. or your calf through the water lines? I think that's yes. very, very important. So if you're really, you know, your biosecurity up to a top, top standard, where you could be feeding your pigs. Yes. You're kind of directly feeding them with bacteria. So you're never going to get to the to cover the underlying cause if you're feeding them with bacteria. So it's really important to look at water lines and test some water. Okay, and I suppose that probably leads me on to the next question in that we start to say with colostrum you keep it the one, two, three and keep it as clean so keep it clean and everything else. Yeah. So on the water then, so basically you're trying to generate a positive culture of bacteria in the calf's gut. Yeah. I presume it's the same with the pigs? Exact same with the pigs, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're getting on the water quality then what you're sort of saying is if you have negative bacteria like your colas or cryptos or something coming <laughs> through there, even at small levels. Yeah. They grow and multiply in the gut. They yeah, grow the perfect better. environment. Yeah. So I think it's important as well to determine the level of bacteria that you have in the water throughout the farm. So we would yeah. use and you've been using it yourself on yes. farms an ATP meter. Yes. And so what we would do on the pig side, I think you're doing it on the on, on the, the dairy side as yeah. well, is taking samples throughout the farm. Yes. So don't just take one sample there at that trot and say, Oh, that's fine, everything's good. I take a sample from the source. Yes. So that's well water, mains water. And generally that's at a good quality because we're drinking it ourselves. So yes. It's generally yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, but then when we take samples for example, in the in the farm or in the in the um, pig farm, the dairy farm, and it's been sitting in the water might be sitting in the lines for a while, sitting in the sitting in the header tank. It has perfect, you know, neutral pH and ambient temperature. Like I was saying with yes. the with the um, the calf house, it's the perfect environment for the bacteria just to thrive in yes. that environment. So it's very important to find out what levels you have. Yes. And then, if possible, put in place maybe a water cleaner or some sort of a system that you'll be able to um, kind of reduce the, the levels of bacteria. As well as that, they produce biofilms in the line. And sometimes you might have issues, or farmers, especially on pig farms at times, have issues with reduced water flow because yes. the biofilm has taken up such an amount of space in I'm the pipe. pipe. That water flow is, is down as well. So that's another kind of side of it. Maybe not fully impacting pig health or calf health, but it still has an impact on the kind of farm performance farm in, in general. Yeah. They, they just can't drink enough of water exactly, yeah. quick enough yeah. or enough clean water. Yeah, exactly. Enough. And then on the cleaning of the water, like the big thing is if you think you have a problem, maybe to just get it tested. Yeah, first of all, get it tested to see where, where you are. Yes. What's your level of... Now, generally, like I said, most farms usually have a high level of bacteria in the lines because, it's, like I was saying earlier, it's sitting there, it's a perfect environment for bacteria to grow and, and multiply. What I would do is test it to see where you stand. Okay. And the same with your, with your calf eaters. Test it, see where you are, see where you're, you, you are at the minute. And then a good idea maybe to look at, maybe talk to your your um, local far vet um, rep or maybe your vet and talk to them about what you can do to maybe disinfect the water. So we would use on piggeries um, a product called Huasan. Yes. So it's um, it's a stabilised hydrogen peroxide. And what that does, it breaks down the biofilm in the lines yeah. and it also disinfects the water. You kind of got two, two pronged approach. Yeah. So it kind of works for to indirectly help pig health because it's, I suppose, it's move, you're kind of getting rid of the challenge of the biofilm and the bacteria. So they're drinking cleaner water. And um, the feedback that we got from a farm today, we're talking about who was sent, and acid actually as well, they're, they're using in the farm, is that they've had an increased um, uh, water intake because the water is more palatable, it's tastier, yes. it's not yes. full of bacteria. So um, higher feed, higher water intake, and that in turn has helped with the, to improve uh, feed intake as well. Feed yeah, intake. and overall pig health performance, you know, when you're not, I suppose you're taking away the challenge of dirty bacteria filled water, say, so, yeah.